Hi, I'm Sheridan Swallow, Senior Planner of Public Utilities, and you're watching Snapshot 6. In this video, we'll take a look at the past month's projects in athens Clark County, including the Rock Hill Quarry. The Rock Hill Quarry in the future will augment all of the water resources for athens Clark County. ACCGov purchased the Rock Hill Quarry in Athens on Winterville Road to eventually provide additional water storage for use during future droughts. ACCGov's Public Utilities Department currently draws its water supply from the Middle and North Oconee Rivers in Athens and the Bear Creek Reservoir in Jackson County, which is shared with three other counties. During severe drought, the only raw water source for the residents and industries of athens Clark County is the Bear Creek Reservoir, which was completed in 2002. Withdrawals from the reservoir will increase as all four counties grow, meaning that the Bear Creek Reservoir will not be adequate to serve the four counties' water needs in the future. The new quarry water supply reservoir is planned for completion in fiscal year 2034. It is expected to hold four to five billion gallons or more of water. The shared Bear Creek Reservoir holds 4.6 billion gallons of water. The cost per million gallons of water storage of the quarry was considerably less than the alternatives, while its large size ensures that no additional storage facilities are needed for 100 years. The quarry also does not require a dam or flooding of environmentally sensitive habitat. The quarry is located within athens Clark County, and the water stored within it will be under the control of ACCGov. The quarry supports Athens' water recycling program due to its location along the future recycled water pipeline between the North Oconee Water Reclamation Facility and industrial employment areas. The quarry is also located along the Firefly Trail at Winterville Road and Spring Valley Road, making it a possible future site for a park or similar amenity. The ACCGov Public Utilities Department began planning for improved water supply a decade ago to protect against the impacts of severe droughts. Due to the time required to develop a raw water supply source, the 2015 Service Delivery Plan, approved by the Mayor and Commission, included a $20 million project for preliminary engineering and land acquisition of a future reservoir. The ACCGov Elections Office extensively prepared for and successfully conducted the November 3, 2020 election. The ballot included contested races for President, U.S. Senate, U.S. House, Georgia Public Service Commission, State Senate, State House, District Attorney, and athens Clark County Commission seats, along with proposed state constitutional amendments and a statewide referendum. Over 51,000 ballots were cast for the November 3, 2020 election for a turnout rate of more than 67% of registered voters. The Elections Office operated 24 precincts on Election Day, as well as conducted advanced voting sites that accommodated nearly 24,000 voters and received and tabulated nearly 19,000 absentee ballots. For information on the upcoming Fall 2021 election schedule, visit accgov.com elections. ACCGov's Leisure Services Department transitioned to new registration software last fall for its programs, rentals, and services. The new MyRec registration system is mobile device friendly, allows for easier browsing of programs based on age and interests, allows for easier registration for everyone in the household in one transaction, and has a user-friendly interface. New users can create an account with all of their household information, which will be automatically placed into registration forms. Emergency contacts, medical information, and other information placed in MyRec will also help the department better serve customers. Registration for Fall 2021 activities began on August 7th and continues through the fall. For more information or to register online for leisure services programs, visit accgov.com leisure. ACCGov's Keep athens Clark County Beautiful, Stormwater Management Division, Leisure Services Department, and Water Conservation Office partnered with other organizations to host the 2020 Rivers Alive event. On October 24, 2020, 
a total of 158 volunteers cleaned up 20 different sites around Athens. The groups collected over 2.5 tons of trash and recycling, 800 pounds of metal, 4 tons of leaf and limb debris, and 71 tires. For the first time, the event also offered a Choose Your Own Adventure independent cleanup with eight groups and families participating during other times in October. The 2021 Rivers Alive cleanup event is currently scheduled for October 23, 2021. More details and registration is available at accgov.com slash riversalive. On October 16, 2020, Leisure Services hosted a dedication ceremony to open a new section of athens Clark County portion of the multi-use Firefly Trail. The section is nearly 1.5 miles long. Beginning at the intersection of Winterville Road and Cherokee Road, the section proceeds along the city of Winterville's historic Main Street and ends near the athens Clark County, Oglethorpe County line. The Firefly Trail allows pedestrian and non-motorized vehicle use for a variety of activities along the historic Georgia Railroad Corridor. Segments currently under design and construction will eventually link from downtown Athens and the Oconee River's Greenway to Winterville and beyond. The expanded vision of Firefly Trail is a planned 39-mile rail trail from Athens to Union Point in northeast Georgia, connecting athens Clark, Oglethorpe, and Green Counties. For more information on the Firefly Trail, visit accgov.com firefly. The Public Utilities Department's water reclamation facilities and sewer system plays an important role in efforts to monitor the spread of COVID-19 in Athens, Georgia. Aaron Lipp, a professor of environmental health science in UGA's College of Public Health and principal investigator, works with public utilities to access sewage samples. Wastewater sampling can detect viruses that may be shed in feces from infected people within an entire community. Although wastewater-based testing cannot currently estimate a specific number of people infected in a community, it can be used to understand trends and to anticipate potential increases in cases. The findings are shared and updated weekly on UGA's Center for the Ecology of Infectious Diseases website. As wastewater flows through public utilities' water reclamation facilities, Treatment and disinfection processes are used to kill pathogens and viruses, such as coronavirus, before the water is returned to the rivers. Thank you for watching Snapshot 6. We'll see you again next month.